Hello guys, welcome to AI Science Hits once again. I'm your instructor Sajjad Mustafa. Today we are going to talk about encryption and de de decryption by using Python. And specifically we are going to use a library, do uh, library called cryptography. So cryptography is a, is a very ancient field that is being used um, since a long time ago. Specifically it, it was used in wars in order to encrypt or decrypt the messages and it is um, a very hot topic nowadays as well. Even um, even WhatsApp which is a very famous um, social media app um, they also use uh, use this encryption decryption technique in order to decrypt their their messages so let's say if you send your message to someone your message is not delivered directly to to the other person it is first of all there is a black box in which it is uh, decrypted this uh, this, me this message is first encrypted and then when it reaches its its user then it is again decrypted and then the user will will use this um, th this message, this audio file, video file, whatever it is, right? So um, I'll 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 talk about this concept. So this encryption decryption technique is is used in almost every every social media app and every communication app, and basically more uh, most of the times it is being used in in communication because you want to you don't want your communication to be leaked. So. So we are going to uh, we are going to see um, how can we install it. We are going to look upon the documentation as well. We'll see what is the concept of encryption and encryption and de de decryption in just one or two minutes, and then we are going to encode decode um, audio file as well and also an image as well. I mean, usually if you watch videos of encryption and de decryption, they they only talk about the text, right? So we are not going to talk about text only. We are going to encrypt and decrypt the audio file and image as well. So first of all, let's um, no, let's talk about concept first, and then we'll go towards the documentation, right? So let's say here is your computer, and this is the your friend, right? Okay, so you, let's say this is your friend's computer, right? Okay, so you want to send a message of hello to your friend, right? But um, consider this message not to be only hello. Hello is just a symbolic message. Consider this message to be very secret message. So you don't want to send this message as it is to your friend because there's a possibility that there is there will be some listener uh, over the network. There, there is a term called listeners. Um, uh, if you're familiar to networking, you, you, you probably know about it. So if you, you put your listeners to the net network, you can listen what this computer is saying to this computer, right? So if you will send this message as it is, there are chances that the listeners will will get the message that you're trying to send to your friend so what you you can do is you are you can encrypt your message and you can add a key into your message let's say your key is seven right so you multiply for example just for the sake of example let's say your key is seven you multiply the ASCII value of of every letter of of this message with seven and then you send this message over over the network now even if listener will listen this message uh, the listener will not be able to get what you are trying to say right so this message will be delivered to to your friend and your friend will be having this secret key this is called the secret key right so uh, your friend will again decode this message by using this secret key it, your friend will um, uh, first of all you have let's say multiplied this value with every uh, ASCII, uh, ASCII digit uh, sorry ASCII character uh, your friend will probably divide um, every ASCII character with seven so it will be the message will be decrypted and it will again be converted into hello world so um, listener will get this thing which is probably useless for the listener right so we are going to first of all encrypt this encrypt the audio file and also an image and then we are going to decrypt the audio file and image as well right so this key this is called the key right so this is the key that you are going to uh, you can send it to your friend by let's say some uh, some very private channel or you can give it to your friend by hand or something right so yeah 
So here is library that is called cryptography. This whole whole process is called called cryptography, and this is how simply you can install it. Pip install cryptography, and here are some instructions that that you can you can read about it, right? So let's straight jump into the coding thing, and this is how again you can install it. I have already installed it at my computer. So if I run it, it will probably say that your requirement are are already satisfied. So I'll say from so yeah it says requirement already already satisfied so i'll say um cryptography dot fernet yeah i want to import fernet right so this fernet is 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 a thing that will um that will let me generate the that secret key so let's say key which is um, um you can also call it a secret key so i'll say fernet dot generate Key, right and also let me print this key over here so here you can see that it has generated this key for me if I run it again the key will be different right so now this is the key this is the secret key that I can send to my friend through a through a reliable channel that will help my friend in decrypting the the message that I will I will I will, I will send to to him or her right so how can we um, so let's start encryption so encrypt I don't know spellings are right or wrong whatever so here let's say I'll say fernet equals to first of all I'll, I'll, I'll generate an object of fernet and in this object I'll pass the key that is generated over here right so let's run it and then here um, what I want to do is uh, how, how can we write this key to to our computer right so so I'll say with open Mm -hmm. key dot key so this is um, how I will I will save it in my computer and here I'll say I want to write it as file key and then I'll simply say file key yeah dot write and here I'll write the I'll write the key which is generated over here right so if I run it, oh, it says there is a syntax error. Oh, um, I sh I should have written it outside the bracket. Great, looks like right. Okay, so if I go to my directory now, so here you can see that it uh, there is a key dot key. So this is your secret key that you that you can you can send to your your friend in um in a very very private conversation or whatever, right? So uh, now next thing is. Uh, let's read this key from from the computer and uh, let me just copy this paste it over here and here with open I want to read the key and here I'll say I want to read it R stands for R, R stands for read and then file key and here I'll say key equals to file key dot read right so it will it will read the key and it will store it in in this variable again so if I run it that's how it's done so here uh, what I'm doing is let me write it over here I am writing the key mm -hmm. and here is I am reading the key right great okay so th the next thing is now I want to read the file right so which file I'm going to uh, encrypt or later on decrypt so first of all let's talk about this audio file I have this audio file AI sciences dot wave if I run it here, here here you can see that it is being played right oh beautiful music okay whatever so I'm going to read this file right so I'll say with um, let me copy this again I'm just trying to be a little bit not a little bit but a lot of lazy <laughs> laziness okay so what I want to do is I want to write the file name over here a i s e i e n c e s yes answers dot w a v so this is my file I'm going to read it and I'm going to read it in where so this is not my file key so let's let me change the variable name over here so here I'll say original file right 
resnal underscore file right and here we'll say original and file dot read so this is how we will read that file and now the most important step is we want to encrypt this file so we'll say encrypted equals to fernet remember that vari variable we created over here and fernet dot encrypt right and here in this thing we are going to pass our original file right so this will for this fernet will use the key that we have passed into it in order to encrypt the file so let's run it and our file is encrypted now um, what do we want to do we want to uh, write this file to the folder this encrypted file to the folder right so how can we write it let me just copy again this thing paste it over here and let's copy the name of this file copy paste so this encrypted file let me call it uh, encrypted AI sciences dot wav and um, I want to write it so yeah that's fine so file it, it, it is file and how can I write it so here I'm going to write the encrypted file enc encrypted right let me run it there is an error why it says that mm -hmm. yeah because variable name is different yeah right so where is my encrypted file uh, yeah here it is encrypted AI sciences dot wave so first of all um, you can see that the file size is different so one thing is for sure these are two different files now if I try to run it um, it will it will not run right so because this is an encrypted file it, it will it will never it, it will never run in any media player right so now you can safely send this file to your friend or or whoever you want to send it because and and no one will ever be able to decrypt it except the one who will be having this key right the key that you generated over here okay so now let's say um, um, now here your friend is in charge and you can say the friend is decrypting the audio right decrypting the audio right so how, how your friend can decrypt the audio again the same thing um, your, your friend has to create a fernet key that we have created over here copy and paste now what is this key this key is something that your your friend will will read from your computer right let's say you 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 verbally uh, I mean this is a bad idea but let's say you verbally tell your friend that this is the key so uh, your friend can literally type the key over here as well since I have already saved my key in this variable so I'll just work with it okay so I have fernet over here and now what I want to do is I want to read this encrypted file so let me copy this code and let me change the variable name because now I want to read the encrypted file right and also this is not original file this is encrypted file right so yeah I'll, I'll read it and now how I'll decrypt it decrypt is that right yeah decrypted okay so here I'll say for net dot simple decrypt and in decrypted we will um, we will f uh, uh, in, in this decrypt function we will we will send encrypted file right which is which we have read from the from the computer and simply we'll run it and now this decrypted variable contains the decrypted file now we want to write this decrypted file to our folder so how can we write it simply we will just copy this paste it over here and here we will say um, we'll say decrypted so DEC yeah decrypted and we want to write what we want to write the decrypted file right this this decrypted file over here so let's run it 
let's go to folder and here 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 you can see that now you can see the the file size of original file and the decrypted file it's exactly same and if you want to run it you probably can run it um yeah you can run it awesome great so yeah that's that's about it now um i also i, I also mentioned that i will um i will also encrypt and decrypt an, an image so let's say this is an image um yeah let's say this is an image and let me copy the name of this image copy um so the whole code will work exactly the same way that it has worked before uh, i mean you can even work with the older key as well that no problem at all all you have to do is you have to read that file right so let's read it let's encrypt it and now let's write the encrypted file um over here so let me write enc in front of uh, before the name of file and uh, let's go to the folder is there any file yeah there is there, there is a file right so if i open it up um it, it will say that there is no such file available or, or there is no such format available and you can see that the 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 image size is also different from encrypted and decrypted and so on i mean you can um now now let's decrypt it uh let's run it again now let's uh let's read this this file right so that we can decrypt it let's run it okay let's run it again and here we will simply uh, write the decrypted file so let's say DEC decrypted file run it so here you can see that where is yeah here it is this and this file has exactly same volume and if I open it up it is exactly the same file right so this is how you can you can encrypt and decrypt your audio file your image file and the good thing is you can also encrypt or decrypt your video file as well your text file and whatever whatever it is you can encrypt and decrypt it as well so that's how you can you can secure your conversations you can secure your data uh, because in this era of uh, of data or data science data is the most important thing around the globe okay so once again we are AI Sciences. Check out the link in description. Visit our website. We have a lot of courses that we offer to the beginners who are willing to start their career in artificial intelligence paradigm so that we help them. If you like the video, subscribe to this uh, channel and hit the bell icon as well. Thank you.